Hi everyone, this is Jan from Melbourne Food Forest. Have you always wanted to grow your own corn but didn't know where to start? Well, you've come to the right place. In this four part series, we will be sharing with you all our secrets on how to grow epic corn from seed sowing, soil preparation, pollination to harvest. We will also be sharing our favorite varieties like some of these heirloom corn we grew last season. Heirloom corn comes in all colors of the rainbow. Don't they look absolutely incredible? In part one of this series, we will show you the best way to sow corn seeds to get a head start on the season, using all recycled materials that don't cost you a cent. Today, we will be sowing this glorious Oaxacan green corn. It is so iridescent, it almost looks metallic. It's an heirloom corn variety that's been grown for centuries in Mexico and one of our absolute must grows each year. Not only is it a stunning centerpiece, but it can be ground down to corn flour, which makes the softest and most delicious tortillas. So, the first question you might ask is, when do I sow corn seed? Well, corn loves it hot. It is a warm temperature plant and is grown over summer. It requires 60 to 100 days to mature from seed sowing. So depending on your climate, this often means you will want to sow your corn seeds indoors from around late winter to early spring to get a head start on the summer season. There are so many benefits of sowing your seed in panels. The first is, have you ever planted seeds straight into your garden beds and find that they disappear? It could be that they were eaten by birds or maybe they dried out or even rotted in the elements depending on whether it's been too dry or too wet and rainy. By sowing in punnets, you can control the exact growing environment for your seeds. The second reason is you can also get a head start on your season. Often when the soil outside is still too cold and soggy, by sowing indoors, you can raise big healthy seedlings that are ready for planting out as soon as the soil is warm enough. Corn needs a long, hot growing season and you want to be ready to make the most of this. The third reason is sowing in individual punnets will minimise transplantation shock and I'll come back to this shortly. Now let's get started. Step 1. Soak your corn seeds. Corn has a tough outer skin and soaking will help the seed germinate quickly as well as give you higher germination rates. As corn is wind pollinated, which we'll come to later in the series, I recommend planting a minimum of nine seeds so you can achieve a three by three block of corn when you're planting. And don't worry, this doesn't take up much room at all. And I'm soaking a few extra seed as backup because things don't always go to plan and you wanna have a few on standby. Let the seeds soak until they plump up usually for around 12 to 24 hours. Step two, gather your materials. Here we are using entirely recycled materials from what we have around the house. So I've gathered toilet rolls, which will become a biodegradable seed pot. As a tip, toilet rolls are so handy, so save them up. I've also got a plastic container that used to house mushrooms, but which is the perfect no leak tray for our corn seedlings and a pair of scissors. That's all you need to get started. Now on to step three. Using your scissors, make a few cuts on the bottom side of one of your toilet rolls, and then fold up each of these sections. And this creates an enclosed seed sewing pot. It's really so easy. So sewing in individual pots will give your corn the best chance of success as it minimizes transplantation shock. You can plant each of these pockets directly into the soil without damaging the corn's individual roots at all. And don't worry, the cardboard will quickly break down and allow your corn to spread its roots deep into the soil.
Now, let's finish off the rest of them. Look at these gorgeous seed pods, ready to be filled. We're done, now we're ready to go out and fill our pockets with seed raising mix or good quality potting mix. Now this is very important, don't skimp on a good quality mix. After all, this is the first food for your baby seedlings. And trust me, I've been there and done that with the cheap bag of potting mix. It seemed like such a good idea because you saved a few dollars at the checkout. But down the track, the cheap mix will produce yellow and stunted seedlings and you'll just have wasted all your time. Now carefully fill up each of your seed pots with your quality potting mix or seed raising mix up to the top. Step five, pop your soaked corn seeds into each pod, one seed per pod. Then cover with more potting mix, ensuring the seed is fully covered. Use your fingers to press down and firm the top of the soil. You want the seed to make full contact with the soil to help it germinate quickly. Step six, put your tray somewhere warm. This could be indoors near a heater or under a north facing window where the seed will get full sunshine. Or you could pop it in the greenhouse as we will be doing here. Step seven, water in well. You may need to top up with soil if the seed becomes exposed when you water. And don't water again, unless the soil is looking and feeling dry when you stick your finger in. Cold and soggy soil can result in the seed rotting before it germinates. Don't forget to label the seeds. Yes, I've done that before. Depending on your temperature, you should start to see lots of lovely little green shoots emerging from the soil between one to even up to four weeks. In our greenhouse, which averages 19 degrees Celsius during the day and 10 degrees at night, our corn usually germinates in two weeks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you'll be the first to hear when part two is released. In part two, we'll show you how to plant out your corn seedlings, including how to size them up if you don't quite have the bed space to plant them out. We'll also show you how to properly prepare your soil for an epic corn harvest. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it.